Hi there, Mark Vergeer here. Gaming on Android with these uh, handheld Android gaming devices really has been hit and miss. I mean, Android seems to be mostly suited for emulation if your device doesn't introduce a ton of lag inputting from the controllers. A lot of these devices actually have a lot of lag. Most games are meh. Some games are gem, gems. <laughs> and this game is actually still in beta, has been for years, and I can play it on just a few devices because it really uh, has a lot of requirements, I guess, when it comes to uh, 3D, 3D graphics. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a nice adventure. I may have showed it before. Uh, forgot all about it and uh, discovered it today. I'm actually playing this on a device with a very low resolution. So I'm capturing it at a low resolution. Um, devices like, again, a Samsung Galaxy or uh, perhaps some other more advanced four core devices with four gigabytes of RAM will probably be able to uh, to play it at a high resolution like 1080p or something like that. This is played at, well, the default resolution with a very small drawing distance. It actually can and is capable of uh, playing at a much higher resolution and drawing distance. I used to be able to play this on my Ouya. <laughs> Ouya. Yeah. Well, let's go check out uh, this game, Nimian Adventure, uh, the Bright Ridge episode or game or whatever. Let's go check it out. All right, Nimian Legends, Bright Ridge. Use gamepad. The Love and Tin. I can't believe this game is still in beta because it's a very good game. It's a nice puzzle adventure. Great music. A retrospective perspective. There's a tiny bit of pop up. Now these control indicators will disappear eventually. Yep. So you can you can wander around, but you are advised to look at that shadows and stuff. There's ancient uh, artifacts and stuff. Quite interesting. And there's this marker. So let's follow that marker. I found it quite amazing to have a twin stick controlled game on the, uh, on the Android device, and it's actually quite elaborate. So these are missing. There's towers. Nobody knows where they came from. the colors in this one. So basically there's this purple thing. That's interesting. What's that? Look. 
cold marsh. Okay, so let's just follow that marker. Dobby is with me. There's another marker. It's the Bradbridge Inn. This is where you live. Gossip Falls. Bridridge family, okay. So I guess by pressing the uh, question mark you can actually uh, get some more information which we're not going to do. I'm just going to show you walking around here. Ooh. Is it possible for me to get in somewhere? Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. Great looking in. A very nice lighting effect, I must say. Now, the language they use is just a bit weird. Graphically and just just story-wise, it's actually an amazing little game. I quite like it. It's time to sleep. We have a big week ahead of us. All right. We'll, uh, we'll go to bed. So there's this. This kid has a bed, <laughs> but I couldn't sleep.
just not there anymore. to the uh, hotel the inn. Hmm. Things seem to have changed. Where's the tower? Hmm. Yeah, it's different. Timber was gone, yeah. There were no lamps, no fences, so none of the uh, structures that were there are there, so... And then the inn is gone. That is weird. I mean, there's, there's bridges and stuff, so... looked scary in those flowers. So I guess he needs to find some shelter. shelter I guess. Yeah. Let's move under the bridge. Probably. I mean it's a bit out of the uh, away from the elements and stuff so. Mm. <laughs> Just laying on the floor. No bear gills. Uh, survival moat thing going on. day. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh look, there's the little orb. There's some sort of thing floating in the sky. 
is coming my way and it's probably not good. Okay. Okay, so I guess the little orb is just not able to do anything by itself and it needs me. Of course it has something to do with these towers. So, it must be really scary, you know, to just like have all your familiar surroundings disappear. And being in the same spot, has he traveled in time? Possibly. But are they to be trusted? Okay. He's leading me somewhere. me to gather those, those some lights somewhere or something so it needs more energy so yep yeah, so I have to grab those those lights regardless of the uh, monsters so let's see if I can grab a light and just now run away. Oh yeah, there's this power indicator. Okay, so I think I have to lure them away from the platform a bit more before actually. Circumventing. This is familiar. I've been here before. Perhaps a more direct approach, me just jumping around and just being very quick about it. It's probably the safest thing to do. Just just yep, and just grab another one and just be very quick about it. Just, just jumping around. So not much. That's the second one. And just, I think, just be very quick. 
quick about it indeed. Just and jump and just jump. Yep, it seems that we're jumping. <laughs> Gravity is really weird here. It seems that I'm on the moon. <laughs> Third one. So just instead of being very careful, just jump around like crazy. And just just grab the last light and just continue to jump to stay out of reach. I'm very curious what will happen now. Like so. Okay, let's see. Will they will those monsters be destroyed? Oh look, he has a uh, has a defensive weapon. It's not as helpless as I thought he was. Oh. That's good, isn't it? But that's also a bit scary because he has a weapon now. I've weaponized him. Will he... it... Will it help me or will it destroy me eventually? Oh, there's the tower. to destroy them. Okay. Not sure what these are. Perhaps they're aliens. It's weird because it doesn't seem logical because they were helping me kill the dragons first or these. Yeah. Now the other one. So and then Look, okay, so it was preventing power. So I guess some of the technology is benign and the other stuff is malign. And perhaps it's just defensive, uh, defensive uh, technology and it just doesn't make any... Look, some more... Oh, and we have to place them on the... Uh, platform. Okay. These puzzles are simple enough. But I yeah. look at that, he's on top. So I guess I just need to hurry with those uh, with those platforms, right? Just, just hurry. Okay. Probably avoid that thing. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I need to avoid it. I need to avoid it. Go out of its 
way a little. Yeah, it seems to be the way to go. So I guess when you play this with touch, it's very difficult. Okay, so this thing is going to overload or something. Bigger, so it's probably got a blast. The Orb 2 Smithereens! Very nice, it's just disappearing. Oh, no explosion. So yeah, you can you can actually see the repeating textures and stuff, but still is a oh, what's that? Sort of energy orb? Oh, these are these lights. Oh, we have freed those lights. So, I think we may have stumbled upon an age-old conflict where these lights and the technology are different sides of the same story or something like that. Oh, look! It creates... And then the skies parted. Oh, there's this tower. That's the big one. So that that is the tower, the tower that we've uh, we've always known. So yeah, this was was the day the tower arrived. So he's traveled back in time, which seems logical. I love time travel. So, I think my little orb is happy about this. So, we'll, we'll go... Oh, there's more! Bloody hell, there's a, a ton of these, a ton of these things. They're crashing. They're landing. What are they doing? It's not good, is it? Not good. Classify the oh look there's timber. Would we classify this as a nightmare or is this something that really happened? So 
I guess I need to go back to sleep. Just have my little adventure and just... So what does Emily say? Probably that's a dream or something like that. Or perhaps he's, she's also, she also knew about it and has had similar experiences. <laughs> oh. Oh, cool. So it's like something that, uh, that just happens. Wow, pretty cool. So it's not the validating his experience whatsoever. It's just a known effect of life. I love the soundscapes, you know, you hear these birds and it's varied enough not to the ribbon again.